Hello, today I'll be reviewing the Russell Hobbs Chester Grind and Brew coffee machine. And here it is. As you can see, the machine uh, is quite sleek looking. It has a clock on there, which you can set. Um, it also has a function to uh, switch from uh, including coffee beans or pre-ground coffee beans. So that is there is saying that you need to add in uh, four scoops of the coffee beans uh, to fill cups of coffee. It goes up to six, eight, ten, and twelve. Or there it's switched off, and when it's switched off, that means that you can use a pre-ground coffee. However, what I'll be using today is uh, bean coffee, and I'll be using eight scoops of it for eight cups of coffee. What we have here is you can change the strength from medium to strong or as standard. Over on this side is a timer function, so you can press that. You set the hours and the minutes uh, to um, to set the time for when you want the coffee machine to come on. So if you want it to come on at seven o'clock in the morning, wake up, come downstairs, and your coffee's ready, you can do that and by pressing that button there. Uh, we'll actually turn it on and activate it. So if I have a look around the side, you can see this is where you fill the machine up with water. I'll do that later. And on this side is where you put in uh, the coffee, either the beans or the pre-ground stuff. And it has in there a filter that you can take out and wash. Um, so it's a built-in permanent filter, which is useful. And here we have the, the jug. And you can see that up to 12 cups max. Okay, so the machine now is filled with water. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that's uh, eight, up to eight, so that's um, showing that there's going to be eight cups of coffee to come out. I'll now add in the, the coffee beans, which uh, are these ones we've bought here. See, they are the actual coffee beans. I'll be using this scoop here to put in uh, the eight uh, eight scoops for the eight cups. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that now. Okay, so I've added in the coffee. What I'll do now is start it. It will make a noise because it is the on the ground setting, so the machine will grind it. So although it's a very quiet machine, obviously it's going to make a little bit of noise to, to grind the beans. And once the grinding is done, it is very quiet. Obviously, if you set that to pre-ground, then the, the, it won't do that uh, and it'll be quiet throughout. But let's start it going and see what happens. So Okay, so that was quick, the noise is finished, it will now start filling the jug with the coffee. There it is bubbling away. Okay, coffee there coming into the jug. I'll let that continue until it fills up to the eight mark and come back to it when it's complete. Okay, you can see it's coming to the end now. Uh, it's just gone over the six marks, so it's probably in between six and seven cups. What you can do is I can actually, if I wanted to, pull that, the jug out now, but I'll do so, and it won't continue. So if I wanted a cup of coffee straight away, I could pour that into my cup and uh, use the coffee there, um, put it back, and it'll continue to fill. Okay, it's finished, so I'll fill my cup with coffee. Okay, there we go. One thing you'll notice is um, my cup, the size of it as it is, takes up two cups from the machine. So I'm not sure um, what Russell Hobbs considers a cup of coffee, but the cups that we have in our house tend to use two cups uh, of the Russell Hobbs machine. Uh, not a problem in itself, but just something worth pointing out. The other thing worth pointing out is that the coffee machine will keep the 
keep the coffee warm for 40 minutes you can change that uh, maximum of 40 minutes at the least amount is 20 minutes so that can be changed within the settings uh, go back and have a quick sip of the coffee okay cheers mm, very nice now obviously it depends on what um, what you've bought from the shop and what your taste is but it comes out um, it's, it's really nice tasting coffee um, yeah, definitely recommended this. Thank you.